He was a nationally ranked high school soccer goalie from the area, but his dreams have been put on hold. His courage is now on display. Frank Cusimano joins us with this very inspirational story, Frank. And thanks. At Lindbergh High School, there's now a saying, where there's a will, there's a way. The will is Will Oler, the toughest kid on the block, and a young man so popular that after he got sick, his teammates wore his name on the back of their shirts. With the help of photographer Joe Young and editor Bill Bennett, we give you his story. Happy birthday, dear Will. Happy birthday to you. Celebrating your 17th birthday normally is a joyous occasion. But when it has to be done right before your chemo treatments, it just doesn't seem right. During the whole process, did you ever think about death? Plenty of times. Well, it's just whenever you came so close to death so many times, it's always in your head like, man, I can really die from this. This is Will Oler, all six feet two, 210 pounds of him. Matinee looks and highlight film ability. Used to doing interviews, used to talking to coaches. Um, we would go to college, we would go to tournaments, and we would have, you know, half a dozen coaches come up and talk to us. Um, he's used to lots and lots of coaches, college coaches, sitting behind him, you know, while he's playing games and taking notes and taking videos. Instead of enjoying the recruitment of being a big-time Division I athlete, on May 18th, Will Oler was told he had leukemia. Literally all the air gets sucked out of the room, and um, Will turned to me and said, what did I do, what did I do? And I jumped up on the table with him and said, and nothing, babe, nothing you did. Dr. Rob Hansen is a pediatric oncologist at Mercy Hospital. When he was diagnosed, his bone marrow was essentially completely replaced by leukemia cells. So there were virtually no normal cells. It was just heartbreaking. I felt all the energy drain out of my body and I just knew my life was gonna change forever. His new practice site is the David Pratt Cancer Center. He's had 16 surgeries and been hospitalized five times. Pulse, temperature, and 47 of the last 61 days, he's had to go through brutal chemotherapy. Chemo just kills you. Some of the chemos just make your bones ache like they're broken. However, Will's attitude will not be broken. He'll walk in the office on a day when he's sick and his counts are down and he's not feeling well, and he'll say, hey, everybody, your day just got better. I'm here. <laughs> yes, while being stuck, the nurses are smiling. And you can always hear laughter in his room, especially when they make him put on goofy hats. Will is often honing his soccer skills with other little kids with cancer on his floor. Yeah, it really helps playing with the little guys. Many times the little ones are crying because it does hurt to have your port access. And he's always, hey buddy, you know, how's it going? One day, it didn't go well for Will at all. Anaphylactic shock. My entire body just swelled up. And he just turned bright red from head to toe. Everything puffed up to where I couldn't see. He stood up and just, you know, I don't know, he started. All I could do was hear, so it was just dark. His eyes swelled shut. Couldn't breathe for two, three minutes. And he couldn't talk. You could hear him trying to make sounds, and he was kicking and thrashing about. All I could hear is nurses running around screaming, trying to get the epi pin on me, and it finally did, and I started breathing again, but it was really scary. The courage has been recognized. On Saturday morning, at the Coaches vs. Cancer breakfast, Will Oler received a standing ovation and was honored for his battle against leukemia. He's gotten encouragement from everybody from Jason Tatum to the U.S. national soccer team player, Tim Ream. The goal is to win, to win the fight, to be back on the field, the field that made him special, the sport that made him sore. Just going through this fight is one of the toughest things in the world. After this, I don't think this anything could knock him down, and I don't think anyone could pull him in any, any direction he didn't want to go. Dr. Hansen told us if they stopped the treatment now, the leukemia cells would come back. However, he said Will's outlook is good. It's going to take three or four years, but the doctor expects a full recovery. And I don't think leukemia has ever met somebody as courageous as Will Ola. And I'm just so glad he has light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, and you know, the doctor says, I don't rule out college soccer down the road. He's just gonna have to oh, wait a little bit longer. That's fantastic. Yep. 
I'm that, that was a heart-wrenching story. I'm glad to hear that there's hopefully good news at the yep. end of it.